guys, it's me again, Orange Lair What If. Where we last left off on this Deku What If. Well, let's see. It was just captured by the League of Villains. Or the Ghost of War. Whichever you prefer. And now All for One has them somewhat drugged up, you could say. In the sense that they have Quirk Suppressor. Several, like, Quirk Suppressor. Blowing through his body, so that way he won't, so that way they, sorry, won't be able to use the abilities. Delta's right now is trying to think of a strategy by taking count on how long the thing should last, or it depends on, like, the variants, as he has looked into, like, the different, the different ones that they have, different dosages, so he's thinking of multiple scenarios on which, how that would work. All for one ain't gonna rip all that stuff out of him immediately. However, he has somewhat of a... Well, from what I know, it takes time for quirks to be ripped out and then shoved into a new thing. For it to take properly. Like, unless... Like, so, unlike, so that way he would just be able to keep on shoving things... Like, he would just pretty much shove a bunch of quirks into a Nomu at that point, and just keep on cranking ones out that were as powerful as the one at the USJ. So that implies it takes time. So, mm, trying not to yawn during this entire thing. So what he does instead is that right now he rips one out. <laughs> and the one he'll rip out is that he's thought about it and he thinks, hmm, I'll take away the weakest one. So he rips out Gamma. Well, the ability of Gamma. He sort of rips him out. And the AI feel this. They feel like pain when he's ripped out. And as All for One has taken him in, he feels different. But he can't tell how. Gamma's hiding himself. As, like I've said before... Each ability is linked to one of the FI, not AI, the FI. So when he removes the quirk, he removes them. So as Gamma right now is hiding inside of his head, All for One begins a process of putting it into this Nomu. Or this thing. His special weapon. He figured that the Nomu at the USJ was supposed to take on All Might, but he's figured... Maybe they'll need a different approach. Because from what he's been told that... Izuku has all the abilities that should help him take down All Might. So as they begin the process of putting in these... Putting in... Ripping the AI or the FI out of Deku and putting them in him. But every time one's been ripped out... They feel immense pain... But the thing, Deku doesn't even know what he's putting it in. He just sees a tank and how it's like somewhat just transferred into it with great care and such. So I'll say it takes like a day or so for a decently powerful court to like be take. And that's like after like after he puts it in, the doctor's like working on it, I believe would be a good way. As instead of it just being a day or two of Bakugo being MIA, it's like close to a week. As some of the time, it takes longer periods for the FI to take to the body that they're being placed in. They feel bad and weird once they're outside of his head. They feel as like, term like they feel like awful as like when they're ripped out of his head as they're put into this thing's body they eventually take and just become part of it as this thing's not empty headed they're just trying to find memories but they get little flickers and fractions of memories but it's all black for them as it feels like they're just sort of stuck. As then it goes one by one. First Gamma, then Sigma. Del not Delta, but uh, Omega. 
then Gamp Theta, then eventually Delta. And Delta resisted actually quite a bit. Well, Delta and Omega. Theta like tried to hold on, but it was ripped away and forced into this weird, this thing's body. As it just happened again and again. Omega was letting out roars of anger as, like, if you saw it, Deku was, like, almost ripping out of the chair. Even with the suppressants in him, the quirk activation was starting to repel these suppressants as he was able to rip one arm out as then it grabbed onto All for One's hand and start to bring down as much strength and start to actually break the arm. As they brought it down completely, almost snapping the arm in half. As then all for one at that point had completely taken the cork out. As then the arm just like sort of falls limp. As he's like, hmm. Pain killing quirks times 10 was necessary. As when Deku or Omega was bringing and crushing the hand, it pretty much fractured to like an extreme degree. To the point of being bits and pieces. As Delta's like, last one left. As he's thinking about it, trying to figure out how to do this, how to do this, how to do this. As as he's running around trying to find out the answers for, for this question. He's thinking about all his knowledge on quirks and everything. He's bringing it up, trying to think of, could he stay in like it looked like Omega was resisting, resisting for a bit. What can he do? What can he do? As then eventually, like, as he has slowed down time majorly... They slow down time for for ages with sporadic bursts of like going normal speed, trying to implement plans into progress. As he tried to like get out a few times at several moments, but it was just never enough. As he's calculating, as in his mind he's like, There is no way out. It is illogical, but there's no way out. As Delta sort of just resigned to this fate, as even then, he feels like this spark of courage, or defiance, you could say, as he's trying to, even like in his like very weak form, as he's received some water and some food, but only enough for him to live. So as he's trying to rip himself very weakly out of the chair, eventually he's brought before All for One one final time, as the last quirk is ripped out of him, to, to All for One's knowledge. As he's picked up, he's in... They are then forcefully, again, forcefully placed inside this body. As Delta and them are there against their will. As in a way, it's sort of like they're strapped down to chairs in this mind. As they're like forced and like pretty much crammed in there. With he's like, hmm, this thing's ready. As the doctor's like, yes, but what about that? <clears throat> As they like start like... As it's like, give it to the ghost of war. As he's like, all right. As the ghost of war are called in, and then it's just like, here you go. As they push the thing forward, they pretty much pick him up out of the thing. As in, when he's like stood up, essentially, like by the doctor, they believe he's just really weak. But as soon as they like let him go down, he just collapses ground like a doll. As he's like, what the. As they're like kicking him, it's like, what do you do to him? This doesn't make it even at all. It's like almost like he's brain dead as they're like kicking on him. As what the sixth one, he doesn't hear anything. No one, none of them are talking. As he comes closer to the front, you could say. As he's looking out, nobody's there. He's searching around trying to feel for them, but no one's there. As he gets into the driver's seat, you could say, just looking around with his eyes. As he tries to, like, get up on his legs or on his knee. As when he gets up, he just immediately, arm, like, muscle man, immediately runs over and just kicks him in the face. As then they just drag him over to a corner to be kicked around. As in, the one who is, if you guys pretty much haven't already figured this out, this is Epsilon. His Epsilon. The complete and every fraction of memories that Deku has. He's the complete set. 
But he isn't Deku himself. It's sort of that thing. That, I'll make this clear, Deku is essentially gone. Like, I don't think he'll ever come back. But in a way, he's still there through the memories of Epsilon. Epsilon's pretty much him, but he sort of just has the memories. And eventually, physical attachment may come. Like, right now, he actually... He does still remember Bakugo. He hates yet admire, admires him. He remembers Tex. And knows that they were something once before. And actually kind of feels love towards her. He's essentially Deku, but he also isn't. It's very weird. As then, with all that being said and done... He's getting kicked on the ground and is being g given injuries. As the Epsilon goes to like somewhat scream, eventually a massive explosion is heard. As Eps as everyone's like, "What the?" As all for one's like, "Huh? I guess it's time." Deku was not aware of what was happening. Everyone's being saved. Everyone's being taken at the bar. As in, he's like, "Huh." As he looks at his ultimate weapon, he's like, hmm, why not bring you out? Field test. As he's like, Ghost of War, stop playing, stop messing with the kid. Need you to get out of here. Shigaraki will require your assistance in the future. He's like, right before we go, as Muscle Man like brings out the blade again. As he's like, or actually it's a gun. As he's pointing it at the face. Well, not the face. He, like, goes by and gets an egg and just shoots in the... Around the throat area again. He's like, sure, that's gonna be good enough? As he's like, good point. So he gets the bullets and just starts firing multiple times into the chest area. Being riddled. As the thing looks over and feels... Something. She can't explain it. As then... Izuku, or Epsilon, looks over and is like... He looks familiar as then just falls unconscious this is like hmm. as all for one deals with all that as with best genus and I believe it was best genus gang orca and mountain lady were over there as with them right there they're like all right as they're about to get into action as all for one's like hmm as he takes care of best genus as in he's like, I'm afraid I do not have time for you, but she does, as then comes walking out and clad in armor, very dark, ominous armor, as it's like, what the, who's that, as then rushing in, she, I'm pretty sure y'all already know, she comes rushing in, smashing Gang Orca right in the chest. With the increased strength of Deku's quirk and her quirk, he is sent flying and goes through several buildings. Mountain Lady tries to step on her, throws up the bubble shield, runs up the leg in very quick succession, and smashes it right in the face, breaking the nose of this giant woman. And then I keep and I believe it was also Tiger. Tiger was there as well, yes. As when she goes to fight with Tiger, she pretty much kicks him in the, like, uh, in the stomach area. Trips him by the leg, trips him by the leg, brings him forward, like, by the face, and then smashes him in the face, sending him flying as he's like, hmm. That was a very good test drive. As then, the League of Villains is transported as Epsilon's like, gotta get off. As he's getting up, he's like, uh. As he's like, I gotta heal this. As he starts focusing, the healing process is just as quick as Delta's. As he hobbles out of there, still feeling a, a bit of pain after being beat on for several. He had to see, little several bones, several broken bones, uh, bruises, and a few lost teeth. And the bullet wounds did not help. As they just hear a little clinking against the ground, that sounds like, hmm. As All For One is, like, looking back, as Izuku is, like, standing right there by the wall, he's like, 
<laughs> like, that's the brat that survived the no-go. As he's like, hmm, seems he's still able to function. But how is he alive right now? As the bullets are like dropping down. As he's like, as it's pretty, he just pretty much says, excuse me, as he refers to her as as he just refers to her as my dear mate would you please deal with him as she turns her head and looks at him and is like oh shit she's pretty much clad in armor all around and she put the helmet on as she was walking away as with pretty much allison at this point coming rushing in and smashing her fist right next to the head as then immediately epsilon's like full power as smashed right into the stomach area sending her flying as she goes rolling. As it's like, hmm, her string, he seems to be just as strong as before. As Shigaranki's like, Master, why can't we just kill the nerd, just kill the kid and be done with it? As Shigaraki, that is probably one of my strongest weapons ever created. With her, she may actually be able to kill All Might if given the opportunity. As in, eventually, All Might comes clashing in. It's like, I will have my students all for one. As he's like, oh, All Might. And as their battle ensues, with Deku rushing in and trying to, or Epsilon, rushing in, trying to fight with Allison, as eventually he punches her and knocks off her helmet. Her face is scarred deeply, in the sense like, there's, it looks like there's a few burns and a few scars, like, running up her face. But you can most definitely tell that's her. As he said, as Epsilon says, Allison. The name sparks interest in her eyes, but she shakes it off and continues rushing at Deku. She's very similar, uh... If you guys want to know, look up in the manga. Spoilers for future. I am sorry. But as Deku and her are fighting, well, she uses her increased abilities, and here's the sad part, she can use multiple abilities at once. So Epsilon's trying to fight her off by using just one ability at a time. As he's trying to think, I kind of continue to fight her. Maybe I can break through. As he eventually punches her right in the arm, causing her to slide a bit, then she comes rushing in using her healing ability and smashes down as Delta, Omega, and all of them are pretty much like forced in a visual mindset. Just imagine them like in chains or something as they each are seeing what's going on through the eyes as uh, what's the best way? There's no a F I in her head aside from them. They're just for a force into that position as like, how is he moving? As Delta says, later before, Nezu, or, or Recovery Girl, scanned our brainwaves and saw six patterns. As are like, so? There, we only knew of the five of us. My guess is that is the sixth, is the sixth fragment doing what they're, they're best. As in, eventually, All Might has to do the whole thing when, and Deku, well, Epsilon, and... Tex or Allison have been in a somewhat of a stalemate sort of having Ep Epsilon having to like fight when with every memory he's pretty smart as well having been listening to Delta and his calculations all that research he's absorbed all of that as he continues to fight with her as it's a back and forth struggle as he uses her the speed quirk to quickly speed up just quickly speed up a kick then comes flying down with a punch right into her like uh right into her arm as he's bat fighting her he actually starts to break her armor bit by bit as it starts to fracture all for one's like huh, that doesn't make sense as then eventually allison gets a drop on him as then all my and deku eventually have their whole moment of faltering each being on a different side, as it's like, Midoriya, my boy, are you alright? As in Delta, not Delta, Epsilon responds, is like, I'm doing fine, All Might. 
as it's like, wait, who are you? It's like, it's not important. But I, I feel like I'm breaking through. I think she's starting to remember as all for one's like, ah, oh, yes, Miss Allison. It was a shame what happened to her, but I saw, as I'll say, sorry if I never mentioned this, Allison was pretty well known as she was very competitive and was doing a lot of quirk and ha quirk related events and such i'll say that like similar to like how the doctor or how all like there's this theory that the doctor who did midoriya's thing like took his quirk as well keeping an eye out for powerful quirks i think that makes sense as he's like a friend of mine was alerted to her power and it was a strong one, so we kept an eye on her. And eventually, when she became as strong as she is, we took her, in a way. Sending those mercenaries was a mistake, but they did cause enough distraction to get her. Get her. As in, as Omega hears is like, what? As then he starts, like, shaking in the mind, like, trying to break out the chains. But then as De Epsilon hears this, he's like, What? And she's like, oh, yeah, we're the reason why she's gone. And they're, and they're the reason why you have no voice. As then, he sort of starts to flash black as he's like, you're dead. As he comes rushing in, smashing, tr ducking right before, and is about to hit all for one in the face. But then Allison comes rushing in, picking him up and rushing away with him as he smashes through several buildings or several bits of wreckage. All for one's like, <laughs> young love. As in all for all mites is like, I will not let you get away. You've toyed with people for too long. As he comes rushing and trying to smash her away. As in eventually, all for one brings Allison back using that teleportation thing. After she was beating into Epsilon. As he like, remember Allison. We, we went to school together. Come on, you gotta remember as in Allison's mind. She's also kind of chained up in a way. As Delta, well, as the others, sort of, I'll say, can sense her. As like, Allison, I am Delta. You need to fight back. Break free of this control. With you doing that, we may be able to get on with this. As then she's like, I can't. I'm trying to this entire time. As she is sad, she's starting to, like, beat the crap out of Epsilon to the point of... Being looking like he, like several parts of his face are starting to collapse inward. As in, Epsilon's not fighting with every bit. He pushes it to the point every now and then to like get her off him, but he always aims for the armor, never her face. As in, he's like, Allison, please listen to me. Can you just for once not be so hard headed about this? As he comes rushing in and again and again, trying to break her free. Even at one point, clashing, like smashing his face into her head. As that sort of shakes everything up in there. As Theta's like, as he's like, I feel something. As he's like, sort of able to get somewhat free. As like, they, as everyone looks at Theta and they just start focusing. Not individually they are weak, but together they are strong. So as each of them just start thinking individually, like, help the others, as they start working together, just throwing out every bit of memory that each of them carries in random directions, every single one, to just start and trying to weaken or shake anything up. All for one gets to the point where he's about to send everyone through the portal, even Allison, but Deku pretty much grabs her and just holds her, he's like, you ain't taking her, as he starts pretty much pulling down like stepping down as all for one i'll say instead of trying to like bring her over like use a magnetation he pretty much just sort of trying to like use a quirk to like force her over there as deku grabbed her and started pulling her back with the fi being doing this for so long they actually started to weaken those chains you can say as bit by bit allison sort of started to like also using her own mental fortitude she started to bash away at these chains you could say as it's just a bit by bit breaking and chipping away as it's like hmm should have done what i did with kurugiri as he's about to as he 
is pretty much about to send a killing blow at them as all for one does the all united states of smash thing as eventually after that they the FI are eventually able to break free one by one after that little explosion and they and they also start tearing apart the chains on Allison's mind you could say eventually breaking them just barely each of them are severely weakened now, as soon as they get the chance, they immediately rush back over to the mind of Deku. And then eventually it's like a recoil thing with how much mental capacity, not mental capacity, but mental, uh, it's like a psychic, a mental attack on the mind of whoever's there. As when they all return, Epsilon is like staying there in front. As they all start asking him questions, as they're like, shh. As with Allison's like, what happened? As she's feeling her head, and she's like shaking it, trying to get up. As then Deku walks over, he's like, or, well, Absalom's like, Allison, as he comes outside of his head. Like, Deku, what are you doing? Where are we? The last thing I remembered is, it's fine, Allison, I'm here. As then he helps her up, as... Several police come rushing over like, hands in the air, hands in the air. As then Deku, well, Theta immediately throws up the bubble shield like, what are you doing? As all for ones like, hands down, arms, guns down. As when everyone actually like saw the two fighting, they pretty much prioritized the attacking of the main boss. Because everyone thought that, well, he's handling his own right there, so, you know. As eventually Deku's like, <sighs> all for one. As all for one subdued in All Might, as the bubble shield barely is staying up, it's like flickering on and off, off and on. As he's about to collapse, uh, Allison's like, come on, Deku. As she like, as he collapses onto like one of her shoulders, as he's like, it's good to have you back. As Epsilon's like, it's good to have you back, as he's flickering. As the AI or the FI are like, what's wrong? As he's like, I've been out. Too much strain. Utilizing almost every ability so quickly and back to back. Since I'm just one, eh? Since I'm just one fragment. It's difficult to support that. As his special ability is to utilize it all at once, but unlike with each of them, it isn't, like I said, they each control a single aspect. But he is able to control every aspect, so... When that's happening... It puts a lot more strain on him, since he's just one fragment. As then Allison eventually, as she's broken free, essentially. As she's like, spits on all for one, she's like, fuck you. As then they like, move past all my... And she has gotten several of the memories that all of them have made like past that as she gets a grasp you could say on what happened they remember the breaking they remember the gang shot in the neck that whole stuff and she gets the emotions attached to that so she gets all that anger happiness ambition logic etc as in when Deku and her are pretty much loaded up on the ambulance they're like Ugh. it's like are we sure we should be letting her go as he's like Seems like she was under some sort of mind control, but can't be too safe. Have several heroes and police escort them out, as it's being reported. And thankfully to the efforts of All Might, Child, the League of Villains have had a massive blow dealt to them. As for those other two, as they were able to get really good shots at her, of each of them, Class 1A is Izuku Midoriya, or hero name The Meta. And this unknown person, as they, like, had zoomed in and tried to get as clear of a picture, as with that being said, it's like, hmm, who seems to be a severely injured woman, black hair, I believe she has black hair at least, or black or brown hair, with severely injured and scarring and burns. If anyone knows who this is, please inform us. As then they get to those rides to the hospital, Allison's pretty much fine. She's just probably got a few bruises. And with that recovery fact, recovering ability, she's pretty good. But Dota's trying to run that healing unit. As when he gets a hold of it, it's like it's pretty much reached a limit for the time being. As 
he had to keep on healing his face and his body and all those broken bones so yeah he'd already done a lot before then so Delta's like uh, we're gonna have to wait as the rest of them are waiting there they're just sort of going into hibernation with Allison just pretty much being handcuffed to the thing she's like what the hell is this and it's like only precaution ma'am as several police officers are like pretty much guarding her you could say with actual like shotguns at close range and she's like, is he doing all right? It's like, yeah, he went into surgery a little bit ago. As she's like, oh, God. Or he's going into surgery. She's like, I, come on, I got to be there for him. It's like, sorry, but that's not a possibility. As they, like, go, shotguns pointing at her. And she's like, is that really necessary? It's like, I'm afraid so. We're under direct orders from the commissioner to keep you guarded at all times. Not let you out of our sight. So stay right there. As then Deku's wheeled off to the emergency room as he's like several fractures, well several broken bones, some hairline fractures, and Jesus, even some one of his ribs piercing several of his organs. This is gonna be gonna be uh, annoying. As he's like facial cheekbone uh, the cheekbone up on his upper right side is completely almost completely caved in. This kid's lucky to be alive. Oh, look. Even his eye, some of his eyes have been... Some, a blood vessel or something popped in his eye. Man, this kid's been through the ringer. As when he's returned to the hospital room, it's like life support. That's just like... Boop. 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 Sort of thing. As Allison's like, oh, thank God. As then the F.I. are like, oh, that was a tough day. And a tough few... In an entire week. When Inko hears about this, she comes rushing in. And she's like, oh, thank God. As she comes, like, seeing his body. And then Allison's, like, right there. As she's like, you look familiar. Do I know you? She's like, hey, Inko. Oh, my head. Does anyone have any... Have any goodie powders or Advil? Please kill me. This sucks. She's like, wait a second. As... She pretty much walks over as police are like, don't get too close, ma'am. As she pretty much walks over, grabs her face, she's like, Jesus, what the hell, huh? She's like, it's a long story. How about we catch some shut-eye? Then we'll update on this whole debacle, you could say. And she puts her head back. She's like, God damn it. When I wake up, I'm going to get something to eat. As in, with the League of Villains, like, who, the doctor is having his own freak out, like, the ultimate weapon broken through by stupid teenage love romance. This is bullshit. As all for one's, like, in his, like, own cell, he's like, I underestimate those two. Ah, true love. Quite the hilarious stereotype, isn't it? Shigaraki will beat him, though, one day. I have that feeling. As in with Deku or the FI recovering, Epsilon eventually comes back up. It's like, yo. As in he goes outside of his head to talk with Allison. <laughs> eventually the rest of the AI are just outside like his body hurts. We kind of hurt. As Omega's just sleeping. Because he's too pissed off to deal with anything at the moment. And, like I said, Epsilon just goes over and talks with Allison, just like, so, come around here often? And she's like, hey, Deku. He's like, um, I don't think I'm Deku. It's a weird scenario we're in. Let's just put it like that. It's a modestly. She's like, you tell me, first, first off, your mind is broken as fuck. Which, how did that happen? That's a long story. She's like, oh yeah, all might. And what about you? You were riddled with holes and literally something blew up. I thought you were dead. She's like, so did I, but after a while I came too. Weird guys had me in a weird little container. Started augmenting me. I tried to break out one time, but that didn't go well. Even with my super speed. And all for one dude had some no moves that were pretty tough. He's like, oh, so you know what they're called? Well, he's like, no moves. Secure the, secure 
the next one. And he's like, well, aren't you completely insane? As he's like, as she says, well, I think he was trying to be more gentle, quote unquote, with me. <laughs> but I'll tell you that having those AI, those pieces of you, that those things of you inside me, ugh, they weren't comfortable at all. They kept on talking. Theta, he's fine. Delta kept on talking about how to, trying to, every time they thought something, it just went on forever. It's like, yeah, they'll do that. So, as they just talked for hours, so he's like, so, still interested in your mentally unstable boyfriend? And she's like, you interested in your scarred girlfriend? He's like, Hell yeah, nothing ever gonna change that. And she's like, same thing here. As it's like, good. No, let's pass out, shall we? As he's like, yeah. As eventually, everything's so messed up, not even the officials know what to do. They're like, her DNA matches a girl who died, like, a few years ago. So, this is a couple years ago. So, this is quite confusing, so... As they just start talking amongst each other, so should we inform, like, any relatives? What do we do in this scenario? As then Nezu eventually comes visits, she's like, hello, Izuku. He's like, hey, Nezu. As Epsilon, Epsilon's taking more of a front, front and center role, because, well, Allison's back. He was really, really depressed. As with the other, like, Delta speaking with Nezu, the villain that we encountered had the ability to take quirks. Is he properly secured? Like, yes, Delta, but why would that be any concern? Because we fear we would, wish, we would wish to ask him several questions. As you're like, well, unfortunately, he's in one of the most secure areas in the world, so I'm afraid you may not be able to get that wish, Delta. As he's like, well... That is a shame. As Theta's like, oh, hey, hey, Nezu, guess what? It's like, Allison's back. As Allison, he's like, yeah, I think it was. It's like, Theta. It's like, I'm pretty sure Epsilon would not be comfortable with us revealing that information. He's like, what, man? He's like, oh. As then they explain the whole situation, he's like, oh, hey, Nezu. As he's like, I'm Epsilon, you could say. Nezu's like, I can see. So... What part of you, what part of him are you? He's like, I'm the complete intact memories, every bit of him. Every emotion, every bit of him. So, you're him. It's like, no, not entirely. In a way, it took me a while for me to form attachments, you could say. Like, they're, there. It's like this. I know the memories, I remember every bit about his life. But I just had no attachment, you could say. It's only by listening to those guys and feeling their emotions I was able to establish my own. As Allison's like, yay, good, you still remember. As he's like, yeah, she's been through the ringer, and so have I. Can we pick this up next time when we meet at school? He's like, oh, yes, as he talks about, also, by the way, I got something to discuss with you, Nezu. As then it goes off, like, several of them go off and whisper to Nezu, like, pss, 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 like a bunch of whispers, have her transfer. As he's like, but that would take some time. And I feel like her knowledge really, she's like, she was studying several years, like a few years ahead of our own classes, man. Trust me, she's pretty much ready for UA. And plus, she's one of the strongest people I know. If you got transfer somebody out of you, out of 1A to do it, fucking do it. But she needs to be in there. I'm telling you. She's probably on the lines with Carolina when it comes to skills and such. As she's like, Carolina. It's like, very well, whatever you say. I'll take this into evaluation as she's been, if, after she's been properly evaluated. You know? As she's like, I understand completely. We'll bring her in once things have been deemed safe. It's like, alright, that's all I can ask, Nezu. Thanks. As it's like, and we'll be seeing you next Monday. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. Dota activated the healing, healing, the healing quirk. We were able to repair ourselves pretty quickly. Or he was, thankfully. It's like, also, as he gets a detailed thing on how Epsilon works. And he's like, well, that is very good to know. 
as then they eventually just like Theta's just looking around the room he's like I'm bored it's like I'll see if I can get you TV and he's like yay and Delta's just like looking through like medical things after like having a having Deku's phone being brought or like his laptop to like continue his knowledge as this like being at the hospital has increased his interest so he's taking in keen knowledge on learning about like health and such Omega's being Omega Sigma's like well this is good this is good and Gamma's like anyone want to hear a knock knock joke as everyone's like no and that's where I'm going to be ending this one off on yeah she's back good for him Anyways, I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Hope y'all continue to enjoy this. And I hope y'all have a nice day. Nice night. Nice life.